Good morning. Welcome to 78th Atomic Bomb Victims Memorial Service. My name is Tsukasa Namekata, president of Seattle Hiroshima Club. First slide, please. In December 2019, uh, just before the corona pandemic starts, my wife Keiko and I went to Hiroshima to do Ohakamairi for her ancestors and visited Peace Memorial Park. There is an important message on the memorial monument. It says, Yasuraka ni nemutte kudasai. Ayamachi wa kurikaishi shimasen kara. Please sleep peacefully. We will never repeat the same mistake. Let's briefly review what happened after two atomic bombs were dropped in Japan in August 1945, 78 years ago. Second slide, please. In the city of Hiroshima, the first atomic bomb exploded at 8.15 a.m. on August 6, killed about 140,000 people. 39% of the city's population were wiped out. Third slide, please. Then, three days later, on August 9th, the second atomic bomb exploded in the city of Nagasaki at 11.02 a.m., killed about 70,000 people, wiped out 28% of population. Fourth slide, please. As shown on the slides, 29 relatives of Hiroshima Club members were victims who died in 1945. This year, we added the 29th person. Her name is Okuda Hiroko, or Miss Hiroko Okuda. According to our club member, Mrs. Amy Shinbo, Hiroko was the first cousin who was a high school junior and close to the hypocenter when atomic bomb was dropped. Her body just disappeared. Today, we remember and honor all victims of atomic bombs dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, including these 29 victims. Let's have a moment of silence. Mokuto onegaishimasu. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Namamudabutsu. 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 Thank you for the slide. Sambujo on the page 24 on the Purple Service Book.
We are gathered here in the tranquility of Amida Buddha's temple to observe the 78th anniversary of the atomic bombing, atomic bomb victims memorial service. We faithfully recite an embutsu and humbly join our hands in gasho. May the fragrance of incense teach us the purity of our intentions. May the beauty of the flowers remind us of the glory of the Dharma. May the lights that burn brightly upon the altar lead our thoughts to Amida's eternal light of wisdom that dispel the darkness of ignorance. Please join me in God's show. Put your hands together. Namo Amida Buts, 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 Namo Amida Chanting Sutra Chanting of Sambutsuge, page 79. <laughs> Yeah. 
We will now have incense offering by organizations. Atomic bomb survivors, uh, Mrs. Risko Kawahara. Seattle Hiroshima Club, Mr. Lucas Fuji. Mr. Braden Tanaka. <laughs> Seattle Beijing Buddhist Temple, Mrs. Irene Mano. Thirteen years ago, Hiroshima Club had a special project to interview with eight atomic bomb survivors who lived in the Seattle area. Today, we watch their videos. Each person had a unique experience. We greatly appreciate their courage to talk about their horrified and painful experience uh, with the hope that atomic bombs never be used again in the world. 
Uh, please start showing the video. もう被爆者がね、どんどんどんどんずるずる入って、この表玄関も入ってきて、もう、だからね、元気な人は、ね、救護に一緒に当たったんです、私たちはずっと。それで、この日赤の,あの玄関の広場がありましてね、そこへもう、すでにいっぱい、それとはなしにもうね。もうみんな寝転んでね、はい、うーんそれこそも水くね<笑>水ちょうだい<笑>もう哀れな姿でねみんなあれでした、はい、で途中からこのねよぼよぼ見姿になってこれ入ってくる姿見てああ私はよかったそうそうああ並んでる<笑><笑>そういう感じのあれでしたそうですね、はい、でだからずーっと看病看病もうあの一日だけじゃなくて,、うん、なくて元気な人は働き働きでしたからずっとそうな状態そうそう何日ぐらい、うん、もう一ヶ月ぐらいずっとねところ変わって、はい、ねあのドクターもその治療あるあるかそのあれにずっとヘルプしてしましたあ橋屋さんのそのおかげでみんなかなりあの命が助かった人がたくさんおりますからね,そう<笑>、うん、ねまあそれはね本当ねひどいまあやけど言うてもね普通のやけどでないです、えー、もうね、えー、後ろからうちこの耳の後ろからうちが湧いてるはあ何もないまま、うん、で夏でしょ暑いでしょ、うんはい、だからうちが後ろ耳後ろあまあそれはね、うん、まあ顔でもなんていうか、うんこのね、半分割れして頭の毛は今、うん、みんなハットをかぶってたら、うん、黒いものあの黒いのかぶってたら人、うん、頭がはげてしハットでもねはいはいはい、うんえー、いうような状態でまあそれはね哀れな格好でしたよ本当、えーそ,ね、それを見てね、えー、まあ私あんな格好でなくて<笑>ね、えー、そう思う恐ろしいよりか、えー、その格好そのものがみんな。あわれでしたよ、本、え、当、ーえー、それが続々ね、この日赤の広場やってきて、えー、みんな寝,寝転んで、えー、もう、やつをそれでもう亡くなる人が多いんでしょうね、うん、そうなんです、えー、もう私の写真を見てもね、うん、あのそ,あそ,そういう、あの、なんていうか、現状が分かる気がするんですよ、うん、で,でも実際に体験されたかったとかね、うんうん、もう本当に大変だったと思いますですね。でね、やけどでもね、背中一面にね、今言うように、はい、その吉川さんっていう人が原爆1号でいつも出てますけどね、はいはい、あの人が私皮膚科、私皮膚科勤務の時に来てましたけどね、はい、もう背中一面、はい、一面ですよ、はい、で頭からね、やけど、はい、ああ、もう、あの三条はもう、どうとも言えない。そうですよね寄宿舎近い時にカッと光って、はい、そしてあ光ったと思って、はい、それと青い炎も見て、はい、危ないと思ってから防空壕へ行こう思ったんですけど防空壕へ行くまで、はい、あの時間がなくてすぐ寄宿舎の入り口に入ったんですよね。そ、はい、そしたらそこでそのまま下敷きになって気がついた時はもう身動きできなかったですね、うん、それがあの気がついた時はもうあの何,何時頃ですか何時,何時間も経った<笑>それが気がついたのは,はっきり分かりませんけど上で、はいまあ、私気がついた時すぐ大きな声で「助けて助けて」言ったもんですから、うん、その休んでた人が「うん、あ山田がいる山田がいる」私旧姓山田でしたから、うんはい、ほいで
助けて言ったんですけどその同級生の2人はそのまま逃げてしまったんです、はい、それから、えー、もう<笑>その時は本当にまあ仕方がないからそれでも助けて助けて言って叫び続けてしまいには声が枯れて。あこれ誰もいないとこで叫んでも仕方がないよ思ってそしてもうあせめて私ここで死ぬのなら誰かに知ってもらいたいなあ思ったりいろんなこと考えたりそしてちょっとした声がしたらまた大きな声で「助けて助けて」言ってそれでもやっぱり下の方だからその人たちも通り過ぎてしまって。でもうそれから諦めて、うん、ああせめてここで私が死ぬということ誰かに知ってもらいたいな思いながら、うん、もう諦めたから、うん、生阿弥陀仏と唱えて、うん、で一人一人の、ねうん、ちお父さんお母さんにてそれを習いて、うん、兄弟の名前から友達の名前もみんな呼んでさよなら言ってそしてもう。諦めてた時にまた一声がしたんですよねでまた叫んでそしたらその人が掘り出してくださったんですその掘り出してくださった方はもうおじいさんと若い息子でしたけどで掘り出された時は壁土やらなんやらかぶって全身真っ白ですで「ありがとう」を言いたくても言葉声が出ないんですよ、えー、そしたらそのおじいさんが「えー、あ助かってよかったよかった」言って、えー、頭の灰やら体の灰を払ってくださって、えー、そして二人で向こうの方行ってしまわれたんです、えー、だから私は命の恩人の名前も知らないんですよね、えー What the countryside looked like. Well, then, right after that, we went out, we went to this riverbank, and Hiroshima being a city built on a delta, is flat, and we could see all the way across the city. Before that, we couldn't see anything because there were buildings, and,、mm -hmm. uh, and then we hear all this moaning and groaning, and these people walking around with their skin hanging clear. <laughs> So I decided, hell, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Within the first few days, what had happened after the first couple of days? Did you go over the city, look around? or? Yeah, I went, my mother and I went to Hiroshima every day to look for my father. And、uh, we never did find him. I mean, it was, it was quite horrifying to see so many people dead and still moving, you know, half roasted humans. In the river, there's humans floating down the river, just like you, you boil wieners at home, floating. The tide comes in and they come up the river. The tide goes out, they drift out, and thousands of them. This was how many days after the bomb? Well, this lasted about a week after the bomb. They couldn't scoop all those people out of there.、Mm -hmm. Well, most of them were dead anyway.、Mm. You know, their body is swollen.、Uh, They couldn't be recognized. So, even after the bomb, is the surrounding cities kind of went back to normal living conditions? No, not for the longest time. Is that right? People had that funny idea that、uh, you know, the dead is going to come out from the grave. Japanese got a funny,、uh, funny psychology about the dead.、Uh, at night time, we used to be able to see those. What do you call those little balls of fire?、Uh, it, due to your、uh, body contamination, and it, it kind of ignites as a ball. We used to see it all over the,、uh, the Hiroshima city. You can ask it from the dead bodies? Yeah. Oh, wow. Anything else you'd like to add to this interview? No, but it's pretty sad when you see a mother. And their child, they used to carry all their kids on the back, and the heat is so 
strong, the child is burned and stuck to the mother's back. And it, you see, you know, hundreds of those people walking down the street. Oh, I did mention here yeah, 14 Kamala North, Northeast, from uh, city center to where we live. That morning I'm supposed to go to uh, volunteer work around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Um, but I heard radio saying there's an enemy plane in the area. So I went outside and saw the bomber went through the city. And I was watching up there and right over the city, there was a shiny thing that was still floating, coming down. And we didn't know what it was. I kept looking at it, and all of a sudden, flash, a strong flash. Oh, about 38 seconds later, big boom, I heard it. And we didn't know what was going on. But anyway, I saw the mushroom, kind of pinkish red with a kind of white smoke. And of course, the uh, mushroom wasn't like perfect picture like you see in a book or movie. Mm -hmm. It kind of stirred. It's my cousin. Um, after bomb, my aunt went over there because they had a um, evacuation location in case something happened, emergency happened. And uh, she knew where it was, so she went out. And first day, she didn't see anybody, uh, him. And then the second day, no luck. Third day, he found him lying in the assembly area. And uh, he was hurt real bad. And uh, there was no car or truck to haul him over. So Aunt put him on his, her back, carry all the way back to Gion, which is probably three miles. Uh -huh. And that's a long distance, you know, mm -hmm. carry a boy. And, and the road had all kinds of detour because bridge were down, mm -hmm. bridge were down. And there's some street you can't get through. You had to take a tour. I don't know how long it took her to get home. But anyway, uh, his son survived for three days. Sadly, he died. And then his, uh, he was only 13 and a half years old, same age as I was. And his father came home. And she had to tell him, you know, he was gone. It was a really sad story. I could, I could remember that, but anyway, the father was so, so shocked, you know, just screamed, mm -hmm. and the neighbor heard it, mm -hmm. you know. That was a story from my aunt. He has uh, two master degrees, one from Tokyo Institute of Technology, in 1985. Another is from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in 1991. Uh, he has been a Council General of Japan in Seattle since July 2020. Uh, since he arrived in Seattle, he has uh, folded an origami crane every day to wish everyone uh, good health and peace. He has made more than 1,000 cranes already so that he uh, kindly uh, brought uh, uh, many cranes we uh, hang the front and uh, please look at the after service. <laughs> and, uh, uh, now we listen to Mr. Inagaki's peace message. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu.
。すみません。高いところから失礼いたします。Okay. えー、I'm Hisao Inagaki, Consul General of Japan in Seattle. I'm a follower of the Jodo Shinshu Nishi Honganji School. With such a standpoint, I will read the sutra privately, not publicly. Today, at the Atomic Bomb Victims Memorial Service, Reflection of Peace, 70 years after the bombing, is held by wife Yuki, and I would like to express our deepest condolences to the spirits of many people who are victims of the atomic bombs. Dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We would also like to express our deepest sympathies to those who are still suffering from the after effects of the atomic bombing. We would like to thank the Seattle Hiroshima Club and Seattle Bethany Buddhist Temple for the opportunity for us to pray for peace. On August 21, 2020, I arrived in Seattle as Consul General of Japan during the global COVID 19 pandemic. Since that day, I have folded an origami crane every day and posted it on Instagram to pray for the health and peace of everyone who faced great hardships, hardships during the pandemic. Last spring, Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, and I have been praying even more every day for peace. I would like to express my deep gratitude for providing a place to display some of these brains as part of this memorial service. As you all know, the G7 summit was held this year in Hiroshima. The leaders of the G7 countries paid an historic visit to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, the very grounds that had been instantly turned to ashes on that day in 1945. It is thanks to tireless efforts by the people of Hiroshima that the city could be rebuilt into such a beautiful city of peace. This year's G7 Hiroshima Summit. Featured origami cranes as an important motif. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, a native of Hiroshima, used the summit as an opportunity to promote nuclear non proliferation, and he himself folded paper cranes with the written message Let the momentum towards a world without nuclear weapons begin again in Hiroshima. Prime Minister Kishida And the G7 leaders visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and participated in the wreath laying ceremony at the Cenotaph for the atomic bomb victims and the tree planting cemetery inside the park. Prime Minister Kishida and the G7 leaders visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and participated in the wreath laying ceremony at the cenotaph of the atomic bomb victims and the tree planting ceremony inside the park. Prime Minister Kishida and the G7 leaders visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and participated in the wreath laying ceremony at the cenotaph for the atomic bomb victims and the tree planting ceremony inside the park. After hearing the explanation that the atomic bomb dam After hearing the explanation about the atomic bomb dome by Hiroshima Mayor Kazumi Matsui, Prime Minister Kishida and the G7 leaders visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and participated in the wreath laying ceremony at the cenotaph for the atomic bomb victims and the tree planting ceremony inside the park. After hearing the explanation about the atomic bomb dome by Hiroshima Mayor Kazumi Matsui, the G7 leaders, together with Prime Minister Kishida, planted a species of cherry tree that survived the atomic bombing, Somei Yoshino, in the park as a symbol of 
the aspiration for peace and the G7 leaders will to unite for achieving peace. Through their visit to the Peace Memorial Park, the G7 leaders deepened their understanding of the reality of the atomic bombings and joined their hearts in consoling the souls of lost lives. The leaders used this visit as an opportunity to affirm the G7's commitment to the realization of a world without nuclear weapons. The devastation that occurred in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the suffering that it caused should never be repeated. We hope that through the symbol of paper cranes, knowledge of what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki will spread around the world and lead the world peace. We continue to wish for peace with the cranes. We would like to extend our greetings to the souls of the victims of the atomic bomb and to the bereaved families, the survivors, and the people in attendance today. Thank you very much. Now that uh, the, uh, we have received a peace message from uh, Hiroshima governor, Mr. Hidehiko Yuzaki. Uh, the, uh, I'll ask uh, uh, Mr. Dale Kak uh, uh, to read English message. Thank you. I'm Dale Kaku, I'm the uh, treasurer of the Hiroshima Club, and uh, this is a message from the Hiroshima Prefecture Governor in English. I would like to begin by expressing my gratitude to all of you for your consistently serving as bridges of friendship between the Hiroshima Prefecture and your region. In addition, the fact that all of you who hold Hiroshima heritage annually hold peace memorial events on August 6th is deeply meaningful. I would like to express my deepest respect for your efforts all these years. The G7 Hiroshima summit was held last May against the backdrop of increasing tumultuous state of global affairs, including the steadily lengthening Russia invasion of Ukraine, the repeated threats of usage of nuclear weapons, and the frequent missile attacks by uh, North Korea. During the G7, we had world leaders learn about the reality of the A-bombing by visiting the Peace Memorial Park, touring the Peace Memorial Museum, and speaking with A-bomb survivors. This was an incredible, meaningful opportunity to raise the awareness of worldwide of both the inhumanity of nuclear weapons as well as the need to restore and preserve peace. Furthermore, President Zelensky of Ukraine made a sudden appearance at the summit. At the conference held after viewing the Peace Memorial Museum, President Zelensky drew parallels between the current devastation in Ukraine and Hiroshima directly after the A-bombing. He also stated that seeing the current beautiful state of Hiroshima gives him hope for the future rebuilding and recovery of Ukraine. I believe that through this summit, Hiroshima was able to share with the world not only the reality of the A-bombing, but also Hiroshima's symbolism as a piece of reconstruction and peace building, and as a result, create a momentum in global society towards the realization of a peaceful world free of nuclear weapons. Using this opportunity, Hiroshima Prefecture will continue to make concrete contribution to the realization of a peaceful, free world of nuclear weapons. We will continue calling on world political leaders, people at the forefront of every field, and youth to visit the A-bomb site, formulating security alternatives to nuclear deterrence, and working to have the UN include nuclear weapons abolition as one of the post-SDGs. Moving forward, while receiving your understanding and cooperation in Hiroshima Prefecture's peace initiatives, 
I would like to ask you to each continue taking action towards world peace. In closing, I would like to offer my best wishes for the Seattle Hiroshima Club members, good health and happiness. Yours truly, Hidehiko Yuzaki, Governor of Hiroshima Prefecture. The uh, Council General and uh, Mrs. Uh, the Inagaki uh, has to leave for another the uh, appointment. So I think uh, really we appreciate uh, uh, the uh, you know that the contribution and uh, just so busy and uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. The please rise and open page ten of purple book service book and Mrs. Nishiwan will lead threefold refuge. Difficult is it to receive a human form. Now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the Dharma of the Buddha. Now we hear it. If we do not cross over to the truth in the present life, in what life shall we cross over? Let us with sincerity and true reverence take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we together with all sentient beings awaken to the great way of enlightenment and to the unsurpassed intent of Amida Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we together with all sentient beings enter the storehouse of the Dharma, becoming like the wisdom ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we together with all sentient beings become units in true accord in harmony with all things. The peerless, profound, and wondrous Dharma is rare to encounter, even in many hundreds and thousands of kalpas. Now we are privileged to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of the Tathagata's teaching. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Rinban Katsuya Kusunoki will now deliver today's Dharma message. You may be seated. No. No. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this. Um, uh, important service this morning. We are having the uh, February 8th anniversary of the atomic bomb, atomic bombing, atomic, atomic bomb victims memorial service today. So first of all, I'd like to express my sorrow at the, uh, all the atomic bomb victims' death. So I was grew up in Nagasaki, Japan. So Nagasaki is my hometown. The, uh, it is the second city, you know, second atomic bomb was dropped. Then my father was six years old when the atomic bomb was dropped. Then, you know, when we are, I was preparing for this service, I looked at the map, then the distance between the uh, ground zero to my family temple is three kilometers, three kilometers. So my father was three kilometers away from the ground zero. So then I looked at the Seattle's map, how far from here to three kilometers? It is just about from here, from the you know, temple, Seattle Basin Buddhist temple to Lumen Field, or uh, like, you know, T-Mobile Park. I felt that's so close. So even, you know, my Nagasaki has a mountain hill, so that's, Kind of my father, my family temple is the other side of the hill, but still I felt from here to Lumen Field or Timo Park, that's so close. 
That's how I felt. My father was there 78 years ago. Uh, he was the six years old at the time. Then, because, you know, he passed away, my father passed away uh, six, seven years ago, but because my, I'm the second generation of the Hibakusha, then I sometimes talk about my father's story to my son. Then, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, well, actually yesterday, today is August 6th, but atomic bombs dropped onto Hiroshima on the August 5th, 4.15 here in the U.S. time, Pacific, uh, U.S. Pacific time. So yesterday, on, the, on that day, on that time, we rang the bell. Then a couple of people came to ring the bell, peace bell ringing. So this, you know, after this service also, we go to the bell tower, then we can ring the bell too. Then after that, uh, my wife read the Kamishibai storyteller. So one of the survivors' story. So a couple, few children came, then listened to my wife's storytelling. Then at night, my son told me, I don't want to listen to this atomic bomb story because I feel sad. That's his honest feeling. But I thought that feeling is really, really important. We sometimes, you know, missing that feelings. Because we don't know, I, I personally, you know, I don't know the war. I don't know, you know, I grew up in a peace country, you know, in Japan. Then I came to the United States. I, war is only on the TV, or, you know, sometimes I learn the history, I learn the war, but sometimes probably I'm missing that type of feeling. So that's truly important, that's what I thought. This Atomic Bomb Victims Memorial Service, then, you know, this afternoon, at the Green Lake from Hiroshima to Hope, they are having the event at the Green Lake. Then I scheduled the ring, the peace bell ringing, the time when atomic bomb was dropped onto Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nagasaki one is uh, here in the Pacific US time, is a uh, US Pacific time, August 8th, 7.02 p.m. We ring the bell. I think we all should remember what's happened 78 years ago. Then plus, as a human beings, you know, we are repeating the war, fighting each other, one after another. Even, you know, 100 and 200 years ago, you know, more than that, maybe 1,000, 2,000 years, human beings keep doing it. That's we have to remember. I, I learned, you know, my son told me, I, feel, I don't want to listen to this story because I feel sad. That's really important. That's really important. Today, we chanted uh, the larger sutra, Sanbutsuge, Sanbutsuge. Kōgengi gi ijimu goku nyōze enmyō. So Sanbutsuge is written in the larger sutra. This is a sutra. In the same sutra, there is one teaching, please remember one teaching today. Just four kanji characters. It says, Hyo ga muyo. Hyo ga muyo. Hyo ga means soldiers and weapons. Soldiers and weapons. Muyo means don't need. We don't need to use soldiers and weapons if we can help each other if we can support each other, if we have a kindness and compassion in here, if we all have this compassion, kindness, gentle, if we have that, we don't have to use fighting each other. Rather than fighting each other, we can help each other and support each other. That's a one teaching. So wherever the Buddha Dharma spread, people listen to the teaching, compassion, kindness, grow up in your mind, then we don't have to fight each other. That's the teaching of the Buddha. 
Last one week, we are having the KSP Kids Summer program. Then after my Dharma message, next program is a Southern Paper Crane Kids Summer program. Every day, those kids are practicing singing this song. This is, I think, one of the KSP tradition, singing this uh, Southern Paper Cranes. One phrase I like is, Hei wa no kane nara so, minna de nara so. Hei wa no kane is a peace bell ringing. Let's ring together this peace bell. In our heart, in our mind too. You know, we actually ring the bell, then we can sing this song, then we can all ring the peace bell in our heart, in your mind. So this is a great opportunity to ring the peace bell in your heart and mind. So thank you for attending this service today. To conclude my Dharma message, please join me in gesture, put your hands together. Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Amidabits, Namo Namo As Rinban Kusunoki noted, we just finished uh, the Kids Summer Program on Friday. We had 86% of the attendees that were non-temple members and have never been to a Buddhist temple. So they were introduced to Sadako and a thousand paper cranes. And we are going to sing them. It's included in your book. It's a song sheet. We do not have to stand since it's a song, but we would like to thank Michiko Pumpian's family for allowing uh, the Betsuin and the Kids Summer Program to use this song every single year as our signature song. Thank you. It is estimated that there are 13,081 nuclear weapons in the world. 90% of them are owned by two countries. Russia has 6,255, and the United States has 5,550. Other six countries 
for this is from 90 by Israel to 350 by China. <coughs> Excuse me. Washington State alone has more than 1,000 nuclear weapons. Uh, if these were exploded, the entire Seattle population would disappear. A few days ago, I watched the NHK World documentary about Steve Reaper, uh, who is a chairman of uh, Hiroshima Culture Foundation. He stated, we have to get rid of nuclear weapons because that is an obstacle to cooperation for achieving peace. We need to make everyone in the world healthy and happy. In closing, I thank Seattle Bets Inn for co-hosting this memorial service and thank you all for attending this service. Uh, please stay safe and healthy. Please join me, Gasio. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu.